There is a great need for decentralized wastewater treatment systems, especially in the global south. The Inukwa project is an Horizon 2020 um, project funded by European Commissions and this project aims to develop a wastewater treatment solution for domestic wastewater. We have uh, partners based in Europe, in uh, Latin America, Africa, but also in Asia. The Inukwa system combines four uh, technologies, which are the lumbry filtration, the Daphnia filtration, the biosolar purification, and the UV lamp. But very simply, the lumbry filter itself comprises of uh, a layer of wood chip, and within that wood chip, we have earthworms, and the wastewater is pumped onto the uh, wood chip and bacteria that grow on the wood chip help break down the wastewater, but the earthworms then provide a very important service in that they help break down the solid matter within the filter. Daphnia eat small particles. This project has the objective to study if Daphnia can eliminate emerging contaminants. The ecological population of a pond or in a lake can reduce the contaminations. So we thought that we can uh, put these ecosystems in a reactor and optimizing the conditions, we can get the same. Biofilm is very important because it's the biological element that can contribute to eliminate nutrients. If you want to reuse the wastewater, then you need to uh, kill the pathogens, bacteria, etc., inside in the wastewater, and so we provide additional treatment, and that additional treatment might comprise the UV disinfection. The design of the biosolar reactor was made in order to improve the efficiency of the sun in the removal of contaminants. We have different demonstration sites, meaning different testing conditions worldwide, in order to prove that our system can be adapted to different environmental conditions. The prototype site allows us to investigate different options and different optimizations for our technology. And for instance, even um, through our first tests, we were able to demonstrate that a reduction in size would be possible while maintaining operational efficiency and operational performance. We just set up one of the 11th demo site that we are trying to uh, fulfill within the Inokwa project and uh, it will serve a touristic building that has a capacity of approximately 20 people and a restaurant of about 100 people. The main impact will be environmental, meaning that uh, once we treat the water to a certain quality that meets the quality standards of the European Water Framework Directive and uh, national regulations, we will have less pollution because now the wastewater goes straight into the receiving waters without any treatment. So the demo site here in Quito is a multifamily building. We have uh, four families, uh, about 10 people, uh, that represent uh, around uh, two cubic meters uh, per day of wastewater. We have a very compact uh, situation for the Inequa implantation because of its urban uh, situation. We had to use a specific compact version of the Inequa systems. In Quito, we have only 3% of the wastewater that is, uh, that is treated. Water is, is going to the sewer network that goes directly to the Machangara River with uh, no treatment at all. We have recently collected the Daphnias 
in the lake, catching them uh, directly from the natural environment. And we will start the monitoring period that will last one year, where we will measure all the key parameters of the systems. In our demonstration site, we are actually applying it to one potential market, which in our case is the agricultural market and specifically for dairy wastewater treatment. Um, the dairy sector in Ireland is a very large and important sector. With the Inoqua technologies, we believe it would be possible in particular to reduce the organic carbon load, but also the nitrogen load of the dairy wastewater. And this should have a significant advantage for the farmers because it will mean that they are able to reuse themselves most of their own wastewater. And that can also provide an economic advantage uh, to the farmer because it means they don't need to have waste contractors take their wastewater elsewhere. Something like 50% of the Romanian population is not connected to uh, wastewater collection and treatment. The rural area of Romania is uh, in uh, dissipated neighborhoods with low potential for centralized systems. In a decentralized system that meets the needs of a smaller community, the costs are much less because the infrastructure is much less. When the infrastructure is smaller, it can be built faster. The cities in the global south are growing at such a rate that the conventional way of um, providing sanitation and water is not going to work. Um, you cannot put that infrastructure in fast enough. We cannot afford to have the great wastage of water just to flush feces and urine away. If you have a volume of water to treat in your house, you can treat on site and reuse on site, meaning that you don't need um, drinkable water to, for example, make your irrigation of your garden, of your crops. There is certainly an appetite for biologically based systems and there is an interest in it and there's an understanding that what nature is doing and um, if we can replicate that in some way in our technologies then this is, this is something that people want to be engaged with. The main purpose of the Unicrop project is to provide a modular, sustainable and affordable uh, solution for taking care of the sanitation issue.